So Apple have just released macOS 12.3 and iPad OS 15.4. And there is one really cool feature called universal control that allows you to do this. Yes, you can use your mouse and keyboard across multiple Apple devices and even do things like dragging and dropping photos from your iPad to your Mac or vice versa. I'm gonna show you how all the features work and how you can set it up in this video. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's jump straight into this. I wanna show you how this works. And this is just incredible because this is uh, an iPad Pro 11 inch running iPad OS, and this is a MacBook Pro running Mac OS, two different operating systems. Of course, they're made by Apple. But look, I can just drag my mouse across here and it works on the iPad. I can do all the things that I could usually do with the iPad's mouse and it's working absolutely flawlessly. I can launch apps like Safari. I can come back here and I could do the same thing on the Mac right here. So let me just show you how it works and then I'll show you some advanced things you can do. So first of all, you need to go to system preferences at the top here, go to displays, and then you need to go here to universal control. You'll then see you've got allow your cursor and keyboard to move between any nearby Mac or iPad and then push through the edges of the display to connect to a Mac or iPad. So that's really good if you're turning your iPad on for the first time and you just want to connect by you just dragging along here. And what I love this, I mean, just there's no latency at, at all here. It's absolutely incredible. So if you're like me, I sometimes use my iPad for video. I sometimes use it for photography. And it's just so good that we can drag and drop between apps here. So once you've done that, click done on there and then you can add a display here. So you can see I've linked the iPad Pro. Now, what happens is you've got your MacBook Pro screen and the iPad screen. So of course, if your iPad Pro is the other side, you could literally drag that across like so. The Mac can detect this, but I've found it's actually better to do this yourself. And once they're set up, the mouse will just go across to the other side of the screen. And uh, we can do things like typing. So let's say I go across to Safari here, I can go to the BBC website, hit enter, and then we can see the BBC websites there. And I'm using that on here. And it actually works instantaneously the other way around. So it's not like the iPad is now locked to this Mac. I can use the iPad's mouse freely, I can scroll, and I can actually go across to the Mac and use my Mac's, uh, sorry, iPad's touchpad to move things around on my Mac. And there's just no delay here. Look at this, this is just real time. I don't know how Apple have got this so good. There's no latency at all. I can, again, use the mouse and go across to this other side. And there's more you can do. So I've got Apple Notes up here. Um, let's take a look at the photos. So I can get a photo, for example. These are some holiday snaps. And uh, let's have a look here. I've got a pastel donata here. All I can do is just drag it over and drop it onto my notes or any other app. And without AirPlay, without um, AirDrop, without emailing, you can drag and drop between applications. You can do this with folders as well. So if you're using your files application and you've got your iCloud Drive, you can drag and drop files as well over to the desktop. So let me show you that here. So I've got a uh, an, an old coronavirus record. Let's just drag and drop that here. Boom, it's now on the desktop and I can open that up. So just a really, really advanced, cool new feature they've brought into Mac OS and the iPad, which I think is absolutely mind blowing and fantastic. And you can actually use three devices. So you can have an iMac here on the right, the iPad in the middle, and the MacBook on the left, or any order you want. And this works with any Mac or iPad with the latest operating systems. So there you go, that's how you do it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this new feature, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.